Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose coming with your weekly reading for July 24th through the 30th, 2022. Now this is for all Geminis. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. And we're jumping right in and we're going to do this shuffle. Please, if you have any questions, drop a comment. I drop a comment anyway. I would love to hear from you. Uh, let me know this resonates and like, share and subscribe. The power of community. I think you need to invite some help into your life um, and just invite others into your life. I think you are probably spending too much time in solitary and this is why you are having, you're having this uh, gathering around message. You also have galactic mushrooms and divine matrix and I feel like that's your feeling. You're feeling like you're stuck. You're stuck in the matrix. I think this has to do with a lot of self-healing represented by that green color there um, which also represents the heart chakra so let's see what this week has for you we'll draw some more tarot cards um, just getting a lot of internal conflict or just some conflict that may happen uh, during this week let's see what the cards have to say right we have the strength card so we, we know that your strength is needed at this time and i and you know i was getting that conflict um message and uh that's interesting that we have the strength card and this is mental strength here you know she's not uh typically this is a lion not a lamb um but you know she's uh she is the lion in this depiction which i like because that speaks to her strength that internal strength um, but it also speaks to her taming the lion on the regular depiction um, on the Rider Waite Smith deck. And I like that depiction only because it, um, it I'm going to leave this reverse, it, only because it shows that she is controlling this animal, this beast with her mind versus her physical strength. Um, Yes, you've been very guarded here, uh, represented by that four of pentacles. And I think you've been spending a lot of time alone. You see, this person is away from the village. She's not participating. She's in solitude. Um, I think there is a need for community here. Uh, because when we spend too much time in loneliness, um, it can start to get to us. Humans are social creatures, so you need to some social interaction outside, you know, of your home, outside of your work, you need to have some type of release. Um, because I think you are feeling trapped at this time, and you're probably trapped in that energy of loneliness. Um, strength is needed because I was getting conflict in um, from my spirit guys, I was getting some type of conflict here. I think that um, with the Hierophant card here, I think you are, I don't think you're listening or following your intuition. I think you're second guessing yourself here um, only because, again, when we are trapped in this matrix of depression, loneliness, and anxiety, we lie to ourselves, right? Anxiety, they call it one of the greatest liars. It tells you you can't. It tells you you're not worthy. It tells you um, you're a failure. Um, it tells you no one loves you. No one can love you. Um, and that's just not true. I think we need to go through this judgment period, which is a transformation. I think you need to make that transformation. Um, but only you can, only you can do it, right? Only you can start changing your life. Um, we have the page of cups in reverse here. This actually represents pages are about news it's also about learning and training pages of cups reverse can also mean someone who is immature uh someone who is uh abusive towards you um emotionally abusive towards you is what i'm feeling especially because it is a cups depiction i think that um we need to be very careful with letting people control and abuse us and control us with love, right? So people that we love,
can try to manipulate fat and use it to control us. It really isn't love, right? Love is not control. Love is definitely not control. So I would watch out for this younger um, masculine energy that is a, a bit mature and selfish at this time because I think they're also having an effect on the situation and this could be the conflict I'm feeling. Nine of Swords. This is the anxiety and depression I was talking about that is having an effect on your life. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is hardworking, but you're tired. Look at this depiction on this card. He is tired. He needs to take a step back from work or step back from what he's trying to accomplish to see how he can accomplish more um, and be more fulfilled. But right now he's bored right he's he's bored and this is the community this is you needing to get out the knight of rods meaning that you need to chase it if you do not chase it it's not going to come to you you cannot meet people at home you cannot meet people trapped you cannot meet people away from the village nobody's going to venture out there you have to come to it at the bottom you have the king of swords uh, this is you, you swords are about our mental status right being the king of swords is being sharp sharp minded not in anxiety if you want to succeed in life we have to sharpen that skill sharpen our mind your mind is a sword um, it's a sword that you can use against yourself it's a sh sword that you can use against other people if you so choose um but I would like it if you use it to help yourself and you possibly used it to help other people with that eight of pentacles. Um, what I'm just saying is you need a release. You need a big release in a big way because if you continue like this, you're going to have a mental breakdown. Um, and that is the warning. If you don't want to be alone for the rest of your life, you need to go to your community um, it's about making different choices at this time and you have the strength you think you don't but you you do you are very strong here you are guided and gifted you have the ability to transform yourself and get out of the matrix but again life is about choices here and i feel that some of you are going to be able to do it and some of you are not um and this is your message. I know it's a tough one. I don't feel good seeing this, actually, um, because I don't want anyone to. I don't want anyone to be by themselves. I'm going to draw another card here. And then I'm going to end this reading. <laughs> Forgive. And maybe forgiveness is the pathway. Forgiving yourself. Um and forgiving others and just moving forward moving forward because that's part of your matrix it's time to forgive to move forward and that is for you gemini for july 24th through the 30th i'm delilah rose and this is delilah's spiritual spot